Yeah, I think such a story in motorsport in general. I think Mark can tell us a bit, <laughs> bit more about Formula One, of course, here as well. It's, it feels great. I mean, it's a special uh, atmosphere. Um, I love to be there. Also, it's a lot of tension because we know that in a couple of hours we have to go in the mountain and face uh, very tricky condition, but uh, it's, uh, it's a very nice feeling. Yeah, I just said to the guys, it's interesting for me to be here when it's cold conditions and, and the sun's not really out and uh, it's got a different ambience. But, um, you know, it's, uh, this is the best Grand Prix in the calendar for us in terms of uh, the build up the event. Uh, Friday is a rest day, uh, which no other uh, event has. So it's got a, a really special feeling about it, tucked on the ocean. You would never, ever design a Formula One track like this now. It would be impossible because it's a principality that have been here for nearly 80 years. Uh, it has such a, a special uh, and poignant uh, part in the calendar. So um, I was lucky enough to have some, some nice success here and enjoy that. And uh, But to be here, watch the, the, the legends of, of the rally scene uh, in the mountains. Um, it's so cool that Sebastian can be here relax, do, doing an interview and then in a few hours he's in the mountains, as you said, concentrating with his eyes sticking out, uh, focusing on the road. Well, they actually are quite different. I think that, um, you know, we have ginormous respect for rally because it is so different from our sport because we have to work really in a in a really fine window actually you know we get the car and the setup and and our driver the envelope we get into a very precise uh point where in rally you got to be extremely versatile actually uh so they have to they do they drive as we know on all different conditions uh all different uh countries and terrains and temperatures and they have to be very knowledgeable on the weather they have the co-driver in play so we're much more independent but we have, of course, still resources and engineers. We need to work with those people to get more out of our car. Obviously, the speed's a bit high because that's what Formula One cars can be like that. We're in a, on, on, always on asphalt with slicks and a lot of downforce. But, uh, yeah, it is, it is different. But we, uh, I think it's difficult for us to do each other's jobs to the last point. We can do it reasonably well, but to do it right at the, at the limit would be uh, virtually impossible. Hard to say more. It was uh, really perfect to describe the difference. I think, uh, yeah, it's it's clear that in rally uh, the skills is uh, you need to adapt to a lot of conditions. So you need to trust much more your feeling and uh, and uh, yeah, have kind of anticipation of, of everything. And I, I believe that in Formula One I never drove those cars, but uh, uh, yeah, in circuit you have a very short window, small window, like you say, where you have to be uh, exactly uh, precise every lap, uh, give the limit all the time for us. Of course, you're also trying to limit all the time, but you need somehow a little margin more everywhere because you are not 100% sure that every corner will deliver the same grip or, or that there is not a bit water came on the road or whatever. So, yeah, it's, uh, I think the adrenaline must be high in both. For sure, it's faster on the track with the Formula One, but in rally, it feels also really fast when you're oh, on yeah. a very narrow road in the forest that you know that there is no room for mistakes. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's both exciting and um, respect, I think, to, to Hall and, of course, to them. Well, I think it's the versatility, uh, the bravery, you know, uh, you know, Sebastian touched on. I think that the, the jumps, the trees, you know, we don't have that luxury in Formula One. We, yes, we can have some crashes, but also there's just there's, there's not the variables that, uh, that the, the world champions have uh, in, in rally. Uh, extremely dangerous conditions, a lot of trust with the co-driver. Uh, I think that... That's the trickiest thing for us to watch as a spectator. You know, I, I, I can't believe they can commit to certain situations uh, with not really knowing. Of course, they have the pace notes and done some recce's, but really it's an incredible skill they have to uh, adapt the car, almost to manipulate the car nearly in the air and how, where the landing zones are and how that works is, um, is really a, a, a really nice art to watch and uh, maximum, maximum, uh, you know, uh, respect and, and, and we just love watching them. I mean, uh, we all know that it's it's require a lot of time to to become a good co-driver. Um, for example, I would be a very bad co-driver. I could never do that. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's definitely thanks to them that we can go to the limit or very close to the limit everywhere. Because without that, it's impossible to uh, remember something like 350 k's uh, of stages by heart. So you absolutely need it to trust it and it's definitely a big uh, uh, trust relationship you need to have because I need to trust the information you give me but I have uh, I control the car so you have to trust me as well a lot uh, but um, yeah I mean uh, I think I think it requires a lot of time for circuit driver to come in rally and try to get the speed because we should see you need we've seen, that. Yeah, we've seen that you need a lot of, of work with the core driver and that takes some time and you need experience and in circuit, for sure, I guess 
will be able to drive a car pretty quick, but I'm, I believe the last tens, the last I don't know how much, uh, are very, very difficult to get. But at least I hope soon to get the, the feeling out of it and make a small try. <laughs> Yeah, I think in our day, unfortunately, it's become more and more difficult for super license reason or for... I'm a bit jealous of the, I mean, in one way, of the, 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 the drivers like 40 years ago where it was possible to switch from yeah, any category. motorbike to Formula 1 to rally, whatever you want. And I think that was people and spectators a lot. In our day, uh, there is a bit too much uh, restriction in, in this way, I, I think. But in the same time, it's also for safety reason, uh, maybe. Um, Ah, I would love, I mean, I would love, I'm not sure I would love to race in Formula 1, but at least, like I say, I repeat it to try it and uh, hopefully it gets soon. Definitely not. I don't want a co-driver. I am really bad even with a, a, a co-driver in a street car. But if you so go rally, you need, you need one. I can I tell you. I will definitely have it in a, in, a, in a rally, for sure I want one, but on a, in, in, I'm a shocking passenger or, and also to be, to, be, to be told what to do in, in a Formula 1, obviously, which you don't need, as we all know, but uh, it would, wouldn't really be be useful but of course you know like uh, Sebastian says 380k of stages you know it's impossible you absolutely totally need that support so uh, it's another language it's another sport nearly it's a bit like it's tennis and squash but it's 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 similar but it's yet so different it's the different demands and, and a totally different upbringing you know from go-karts and then you go we were probably starting go-karts to a degree then you really the education process starts so early that these you know I went on that way and Sebastian went that way in terms of rally you know you have to it's it's early early days you have to learn this mindset and probably sebastian because he's younger <laughs> he's younger so uh yeah and probably more skill so uh, uh no yeah. no no that, that's <laughs> nice that, but that's completely uh thank you for this nice thought but the truth is i haven't done so much go-kart in my uh, young age uh, unfortunately i came to motorsport very very late i can't complain i still managed to have some great success in the last years uh but yeah it's it's definitely I think go-kart is anyway the, the best school to any motorsport, uh, but afterwards that it, it can go very different direction. He mentioned like it's maybe comparing tennis or squash. I often say it's football or rugby. I mean, it's, yeah. it's you play with a ball, but it's completely different. Yeah. So, but I think it's anyway exciting and it's nice to have the all the options. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks very much. Well done, mate. I'm watching. Well done to you. Up,